getting cold. Ah, oh, Bruno was getting cold at his desk. You want to say hello, Bruno? We're testing out a brand new strategy, Bruno. It's a brand new strategy that involves the village, the heli pilot, and the ninja. And it's working pretty well. Nice, man. Hey everyone, Lockie here. Hope you guys are doing well today. I'm gonna to dive into a ceramic crucible and I'm gonna try a new strategy. It's an eco strategy, it's something I was thinking about last night. I'm gonna give this a go. The village has been buffed. A lot of uh, the earlier upgrades got cheaper. The MIB call to arms glitch was fixed, unfortunately. I mean, I know a lot of people are sad about that and I'm sad about it too because it was super fun, but it was kind of OP, it was a little bit broken. Um, you couldn't really beat someone if you ended up in the late game and they pulled out the village and you didn't have the village, say so they got the village as a bonus. Say you both went for the very popular ninja, farm and mortar, but one of you got the village as a bonus and one of you got like the glue gunner. Glue gunner's pretty cool, but if you get to about round 30 and you've both played really well and you've both defended rushes and it's about 50-50 and we still don't know who's going to win, if one of the players pulls out the village and gets a couple of MIBs up, there's really nothing that the opponent can do to beat you at that point. Okay, we just, we were talking so much we didn't even choose the towers. This is gonna be crazy. Okay, but we did, we get, did get to choose two and we got the ice tower, which is pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet, people. Uh, yeah, so the MIB glitch was fixed. I mean, I am sad about it because it was super fun to use. But the other thing that um, a lot of the YouTubers didn't mention this and it's a little bit sad because I think most of them were aware. Gaming Shaft mentioned it, props to him. But the, um, the village MIB call to arms glitch, when you used a lot of them and it increased your firing power exponentially for every single one that you activated at the same time. Super fun to use, um, kind of cool for the late game. But if your opponent was on a slower device, like an older model phone, um, it was actually pretty easy to make them crash by activating all your MIBs at once. And I mean, that's... That's just not really a fair situation. I haven't seen any eco because I've been rabbiting on. Come on, Lockie. Now he's sending pinks. Good move, but my Ebbers starts is going to be pretty good against those pinks. I should be fine. Although sometimes when they get mixed up with the group plumes, it can get a little bit tricky. So we're going to get a second sub in. In my reactor position, that is the best place for the reactor on this map, if you didn't know it. This little sub here, that is the best place for the reactor. You can see with him selected how much of the track he is covering. It's actually enough to pop rainbows down completely if they're not boosted. If they boost regen rainbows at you, I think they will pop out the other side. Um, they'll be mostly popped down to something very small, but if you only had the reactor and they boosted rainbows, you would probably still die. But um, if they don't boost the rainbows, that, that reactor position covers so much of the track that it's enough to pop the rainbows all the way down. So we've made them boost. Um, sorry. Now he's sitting greens, which is good because because my little my little combo there, an airbow starts cannot deal with a constant stream of greens by itself. It can almost do it, but not quite. They will in the end overwhelm. But we do have those two towers, so that's pretty good, pretty sweet. Um, however, if he sends yellows, I'm guessing he probably will. We want to send some yellows at him. Try and get another boost out of them. I think I'm gonna have to boost if he sends yellows. Fake, he's fake. Oh, look at that, he's leaked down quite a few lives. Say well done, buddy, well done. Let's see if we can, kinda of wanna push up to 500 eco. Here we go, we've got our 500 eco. We're probably gonna to have to boost if he sends it us. I've saved my tax, which is good because I can use those when he, if he sends leads. Um, because we still need, we need a lot more money. To get our to get our lead popping power, I could also use the ice tower as pretty cheap lead popping power, but it can actually cause problems because my subs won't hit the frozen balloons. It will pop the leads. Let's use some road spikes. Let's sell that and get the reactor, and let's get a little ninja up just in case. I think we're going to be fine though. Let's sell that little ninja and swap it out for an airburst starts just here. Back in the, that is, right there is is pretty much the best airburst starts position on this map. If you're only going to have one, two, it's the best starting position. Um, 
And I think the reason for that is that you can see at the top, it fires towards the top, towards the air, but towards the reactor. It's going to, the balloons that come around that path, it's going to fire and it's going to shoot pretty much in a straight line. So the air burst starts, they'll pop the balloons and they'll go through and they'll pop more balloons. And for the incoming balloons, it's kind of the same. Let's get the air burst now. So you watch how it hits the blues now. It goes through the blues in a nice line. You're not losing any darts. If any darts kind of overflow, they tend to hit the reds behind it, and it's the same for the scent balloons that the opponent might send at you. So it's round 15, he could send ceramics now, which is a little bit of a worry. So I think we want to get we want to get a little ninja in. You can fit two ninjas on this little ice platform here, so I'm gonna, gonna squeeze one on the side so that I can definitely fit another one in, if need be. Look at this. Look at this. He's not he's not putting any ceramics in there just yet. Oh, he's boosted again, my friend. Okay, I found that the best air, uh, the best Moab defense on this map is actually get a couple of air burst starts and down this end. We're getting them in now, where he's sending the yellows, that one at the top. And and I've set it to target strong. I'm going to try and get, maybe get another one in here too. Maybe just here. Set that to target strong. And then I think we're going to put the rest of our money, that should take take it down. We're going to put the rest of our money into, well, look, here we go. I'm going to boost that just to be safe. Look at that ceramics coming through. Am I going to leak anything? No, we took it down. That's good. We now want to get that ninja upgraded as well. If we get that ninja upgraded, we need to get a bloom jitsu pretty quickly. Because... He could send another one. My boost is almost recharged though. That's good. It's good. If he sends a BFB, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult. Oh, fake. Look at that. Look at that. <gasps> Nine li seven lives for fake. Seven lives. Okay, this is tricky. What's he gonna do? He's not sending a BFB. I've just got my Bloom Jitsu up. And now I kind of want to get. I'm kind of getting an Ice Tower. I'm gonna get my Ice Tower there. Um, if he sends a BFB, I'm gonna hopefully. I'm gonna get Ice Shards first. And now, if he sends a BFB, I'm gonna hopefully have enough money to get an absolute zero, which is the wave of ice across the whole screen that slows everything down a lot. This is the plan. This is the plan. Those ice shards are good for the naturals. Okay, we've definitely we've got enough money to get the absolute zero. Now here comes the BFB. Okay, let's absolute zero it. So we've slowed that down. I'm gonna sell the ice town now. I'm going to get another Bloom Jitsu. And I think I'm going to boost that. Hmm, he's, he timed that quite well with the ceramics that were coming in. Oh, and Fate goes down. So we managed to defend that rush. That was cool. That was cool. Good game, man. Well played. Um... Not quite the strategy I was planning to try. I wanted to try the Heli Pilot, um, but I obviously that was probably one of the only maps that I can't really do the strategy on, so we couldn't we couldn't do it. But I want to try this new strategy. I was kind of inspired by a game that um, Bruno and I played on the stream uh, two days ago, I think it was. Uh, Snowfall is going to be pretty good for this, I think. So we're going to get the Ninja, we're going to get the Village, and we're going to get where is he? There he is. There he is. We get the heli pilot. Hope for a good bonus. The glue gunner is pretty cool, actually. Um, give him a thumbs up. He's got a pretty good record. He's got um, yeah, quite a few. Oh, he's skipping the map. Come on, man. Come on, man. Why? I don't know if I want that map. Let's skip that. I mean, okay, this could work. This could work. Yep. 
So we're gonna do let's let's try this again. Ninja Village. And where is he? This is a heli pilot. Let's see if we get a decent bonus. The bomb tower, it's a very good bonus actually. Very good bonus. So um I'll try not to use the bonus right away. I probably am gonna use the bonus because it's a good bonus. But we'll see. We will see. I think I'm gonna start with the heli pilot. And we're gonna think about. I'm gonna. It's a heli pilot, and we're going to get. I'm gonna get a village at some point. Let's put a little heli pilot there. And maybe we. I want to send Eco. But I think I'm going to. I'm gonna lock him in place just there and get the quad dart straight away. I don't really need it right away, but. You know, we'll get it. We'll get it up. Just so I don't have to think about it. Um, I don't really want to. I don't really want to have to suddenly be upgrading it when uh, when I realise that it's not enough popping power. But at least with this, we'll kind of we'll survive a fair way, I think, with the quad darts. Um, and we're just gonna. He's going eco too, by the looks of things. It's interesting. It's definitely interesting. So what I've done there, it's. I don't know because this is the first time I've tried this strategy out, but um, my idea is to get a village up near that helicopter and then also some ninjas under the village um, because everything's going to be cheaper if I build it in the range of the village. So we want to use the village to, you know, to its best potential in this in this uh, loadout. He's, he's leaking a little bit there, but he's now got, he's done well, he's now got his um, little ricochet. So I'm going to say well done, because that's pretty good. I see him got pinks, a little bit mean. But, um, ooh, it's going to force him to upgrade something else. Let's get, see a couple of blacks as well. Um, ooh, but that, that little that little triple dart is doing well, because it's popping the blacks as they come in. See one, yeah, look at that. He's doing well. Looks like he's going to leak another blue, but hey. Okay, now he's sending the greens quite a few greens. I think I'm going to need... I might leak here. Come on, where's my money? Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, we use a few road spikes there. I, don't re I shouldn't really worry about going no lives lost, but... I'm going to go close. Okay. So that's going to deal with the group balloons. I'm pretty happy with that. We have used the bonus. But hey. Okay, we've got 500 eco. That's pretty cool. Round 9, he's leaked again. Now I'm in two mines. The village or the Razor Rotors upgrade. I really want both. I'm going to go for the village. I'm going to go for the village. It's a little bit, it's a little bit cheeky. It's... You know, it might not quite work in a competitive game, I don't know. But we'll we'll now get Pursuit, Bigger Jets, um, VR Instruments, which is your camo detection. We need that, we definitely need that. And then, round 12, He's is he going to rush me or is he preparing for the defense? So I'm now going to patrol from here to here. This is so that the Razor Rotors cover a lot of the track. And I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a little ninja up here as well to deal with any little straggling balloons. Hopefully. Hopefully. Seems to be working out alright actually. Um let's get the monkey fort because it's quite cheap and that increases the um, popping the pierce of all your towers. And I've got three towers in range of my village, so that's pretty cool. We definitely need a bit more money. Definitely need a bit more money. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna change this um, patrol point of my chopper to this path. I think it's gonna be better if he rushes me because it's the path that leads up to the bomb tower and the ninja. So it's going to um, it's. It's going to cut through regens and ceramics and leads and so on. 
And then hopefully my bomb tower and my ninja will be able to finish them off. That's the plan. That's the plan! Let's hope it works. So he could send a Moab right about now. Kind of worried about that. It, we've got a couple of choices here. We can either Boonjutsu it or we can get, we can get another bomb tower. Let's go for a Bloom Jitsu. Um, let's go for a Bloom Jitsu. Let's get the Monkey Beacon as well to increase the range. Now, now our towers have definitely, definitely a much better range. Is he going to be able to deal with a Moab? I'm tempted to send him one. But I guess the thing I really want to test out with the strategy is how well does it defend? Um, that's the big question. I'm going to start sending Blues now for Eco. Um, although actually rainbows for eco is rainbows for eco. They're only 150. They give you six same as a black Cost the same as a black But maybe pressure the opponent a little bit more So we send a few rainbows for eco. Now I can switch back to blues um, The reason I'm sending blues is because I want to save money now if I send blues you can see my eco keeps ticking over I keep accumulating cash um, Which is good But I end up with more money in the bank slowly goes down a little bit and my eco grows very slowly but I end up with oh look here come the moabs okay well, this is gonna be trickier I'm gonna boost that now and hopefully have enough money for the second blue jitsu oh this is tough come on boost don't wear off yet oh man oh man whoa now he's seeing ceramics that was a good rush well done man Village really, really helps. Village really, really helps. Okay, we did manage to defend about six Moabs there with this strategy. I'm pretty happy with that, actually. It's really good. Really good. So let's, um, what should we do now? Let's get bigger bombs and missile launcher on that little bomb tower. I'm tempted to sell one of those blue jutsus for a little bit more eco, actually. Because I think one blue jutsu should be enough for what we've got. Right now, so you're gonna have to boost. I guess we could try and take him out. I mean, he, his defense isn't that great because he spent a lot of money on that rush. I think, I think he's, as Shaft would say, he's doomed. He's doomed now, unless I mess this up completely, which is still possible. It's definitely still possible. Um, I'm sort of keen to see if I can defend another rush from him, though, just for fun. Um, now we're getting a flash bomb under that village. Getting a flash bomb. Because I would actually, I'd kind of like to go late game. Um, I wish I could say late game in the emotes now, after. I'm kind of keen to go late game. Um, because I want to I wanna show you guys what I think is pretty cool with the strategy. We're now going to, I'm now going to save money. I've got $1,500. Um, $1,500 in the bank. It's quite good. We need 12,000 for our Apache. I want to get an Apache up, because this is what I want to show you guys. Is he sending eco? He's not sending eco. He must have zero eco right now. Ah, oh, he's eventually going to bleed out and die to the naturals, because that defense isn't really enough. It may not even be enough right now. Oh, he's boosted. Yes, he needs to. Oh, 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 sheepman goes down. So sorry, buddy. Uh, we did defend a good rush. I, it was kind of a sad way for it to end. Good game. Good game, man. Um, I want to get my patchy up. I really want to get my patchy up. Okay, we'll try again. We'll try again. We can do this. We can not do this. This is weird. We're up against a player with zero, 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 zero wins, zero losses, and zero medallions. What's going on? And indoor pools. Indoor pools is not going to work for my strategy. I'm going to skip that. This strategy is, it definitely requires a slightly longer map. That map could have worked, possibly. Interchange? I don't like this map. I don't like this map for some reason. Just don't like it. Um, okay, we'll try again. Ninja, the village. Glow gunner, okay. Glow gunner's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Love the glue gunner, actually. Love the glue gunner. Wouldn't it be cool if the glue gunner affected Moabs? I definitely think it's... 
it's something that um, that could happen in the future. I definitely think it's something that could happen. Okay, we need to think about this. We need to think. I'm going to start with the helicopter. And so I'm going to place him here because, again, I want to build a village in range of him. Yeah, man, definitely. I know. People give the thumbs up because, hey, this is cool. We're using a tower that very rarely gets a showing. Um, we're going to send some eco now. Let's start sending the eco straight away. Um, we won't upgrade to quad darts because that was not really efficient when I did it last game. Um, I think I just wanted to talk. I wanted to talk to you guys instead of sending my eco. Now I'm going to focus on ecoing and talking if that's possible. Sending the reds, remember that the top line is always better for eco. The bottom line, like the blues, the spaced, so you can't send them as quickly and therefore you cannot make as much eco. Okay, blues, lots and lots of blues is definitely going to be... We're going to need the quad darts, I think. Let's get those quad darts up. Uh, a little helicopter seems to be holding out. I don't know if that's the best position for the little helicopter, but I think it's alright. He's holding off the little blues. He's holding them off. How long can he hold this off for though? We may need a little ninja pretty soon. Let's get a little ninja right here in the corner. Ah, oh, we've leaked! We've leaked! Well done, player. My goal here is to try and build up some decent eco. We're going to we're going to try and build a village between that ninja and the heli pilot, and then we're going to get cheaper upgrades from that village, and that village is going to it's going to give us um, some nice bonuses, which we're going to hope is enough. I'm going to hope. We might need to uh, upgrade that little ninja a bit more. Okay. We've leaked again! No! Send some yellows. Maybe some couple of region whites. That brings us to 500, nice 500 eco. We're going to leak again here. Poor Lockie. Um, is he struggling with those though? He's leaking now. He's leaking. And it looks like he's... Uh, he still hasn't leaked as much as us. Okay, it's now... We've still got three road spikes, which is good. I can use those for leads if I really need to. But one more. Okay, we've now got razor rotors. Razor rotors. That's cool. And we're going to I'm going to put them on patrol up here. Um, that's going to hopefully let's get the look at that. It's going to cut through the camos, it's going to cut through the leads. That's the plan. It's working out. He's going for a village as well. How cool is that? Oh man. I've got to send him a heart. That's so cool. Well, actually, he doesn't know. He doesn't know because I haven't built my village yet. But uh, he will know soon. He hasn't rushed me. So let's get a little let's get a little village up there as well. Hopefully there's a... We'll send him another heart. Hopefully he understands now. He's, he's gone for camo detection on that village. The village... I haven't tested this, but in theory the village the village should not affect the boomer in quite the same way that it did before. That was a little bit broken. Um, the boomer would pop twice the balloons, and that's not quite intended. It's supposed to increase the, the pierce by one, so I think that's been fixed. Um, let's send him some blacks. He's getting up some good defense. I think he's going to struggle with Moabs though. I think we should stop. We should stop our eco at maybe 700. And now we need to. We probably need to save for. For the Bloonjutsu. I think we're definitely going to need the Bloonjutsu to deal with Moabs if he sends them. But look, that Bloonjutsu is cheaper because he's under a village. So that's pretty good. And I'm going to get distraction as well. Because, because the ceramics that come out of the Moab if he sends one is going to be problematic for us. 
Okay, sending a lot of stuff, but those razor rotors are kind of shredding the balloons that are close, which is pretty cool, I must say. Let's see how it deals with how it how it behaves with a monkey fort. So the monkey fort should be should now be um, influencing the the razor rotors. I'm going to move. Let's set his let's set his patrol point again to this. I hope that's good. Just for a little bit more shredding. Let's get the monkey beacon so we've got more range. And let's now use our bonus, because I think our bonus is pretty sweet actually. And we'll get a glue gunner up with a glue hose. Nice. We should be fine for ground balloons now. Um, we are going to, if he sends a BFB, I'm in trouble. I should probably save some money actually. Let's save some money. Let's get another ninja. He, he just sent the BFB. Okay, no need for a glue gunner right now. No need for the glue gunner. Um, am I going to be able to afford a sabotage supply lines? I kind of need one. I kind of need one. We need a couple more eco hits. This is going to be close. What I'm going to have to do here to defend this, to have a chance of defending it, is one more eco hit for sabotage supply lines, and then I'm going to sell it. Buy it. Use it. Sell it. Balloon Jitsu. Balloon Jitsu. Boost. Hopefully, hopefully. Can't quite afford the other one. We didn't need it. Well done. Okay, now. Well, look, he's getting a lot of bomb towers in. That's pretty clever. That's pretty clever. Okay, this could be my opportunity to go late game. I'm kind of excited. We'll send some blacks. Let's upgrade the village to jungle drums. I don't know if I should sell one of those balloon jitsus for the money. Get it back. I think I'm going to keep it. It's kind of a deterrent. A deterrent. It's our, our deterrent ninja. It's going to stop him from thinking that he can just rush us again. Because he, he could. And I don't really want to have to do all that buying and selling stuff again. So we're going to get another another heli pilot up, and this one we're going to put on pursuit to kind of to do clean up. Oh, he sent again. Nice. And this time, okay, we're going to sell that, and we're going to sell a balloon jitsu, and we're going to get sabotage up real fast because he is doing what I what I kind of thought he might. But this time I think we have more money and more defense. I don't think I even need to boost. But we'll see. On his side, oh, he's leaking. Oh no, he's gone down, people. That's sad because what I what I was thinking. Okay, I'm gonna I say good game, man. Will you play? He's got zero medallions. How can he play? Okay, let's do it. He says he'll play, but he's got zero medallions. That's bizarre. That is bizarre. In theory, he shouldn't be able to enter that match because that's really weird. I don't know what's going on. Late game. Yes, late game. Thank you, my friend. Um, this is going to be a tricky map, though, but let's see. Definitely not as much time to defend. I, well, I don't want to farm. I don't want the farm. I want the village and I want the helicopter, and we want a decent bonus. Um, if we can get one. Wizard, okay, we'll take the wizard. Not really the bonus I was looking for, but... Okay. So let's... Let's think about this again. I think we can build our village somewhere down here. Um, and so, if we build the village somewhere down there, then we could definitely get a little heli pilot in there and probably have them in range of the village now let's put our little heli pilot up at the top and we'll get ready to start seeing you go he's farming i want to go late game i want to go late game because what i was visualizing was that if you can survive those early rushes and we've kind of demonstrated that that is possible with this strategy um then if it get if you can survive to kind of the round 20s and get your village up and get enough money to get an apache up 
then when it gets to round 30 you can eventually get MIB Call to Arms up and because of a, re a game that we had in the stream I saw that it might be cool to arms with the Apaches. It's still really, really OP. I mean, I sent like five Zomagods at one of our friends that we we're playing against, um, and he he was able to defend that, like with I think three Apaches and maybe three it might be cool to arms. Maybe it was four Apaches, but it was like whoa. I mean, even using one it might be cool to arms ability on the Apache. Um, on three or four Apaches was just ridiculously OP. He just shredded those Zomigots. Okay, now we need to we need to get the quad darts and we need to get some little road spikes down. And we may want to get that little ninja in for cleanup. Let's do that. Let's do that. It's gonna be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Oh, he's boosted. Sorry, bud. I was actually just sending Eco. Actually, he's. I wasn't even watching because I was talking to you guys, and he's gone down to 79 lives. Um, late game, man. We're going late game. Although, do you know what? I reckon he's going to try and rush me. Everyone who says late game tries to rush you. It's just one of those things. So we need to be ready for that. We need to be ready. I really want 500 Eco. 500 Eco is... 500 eco is kind of, I like to get 500 eco by about round 7, that's kind of my benchmark, and then we sit on that. We're now going to get, we're going to get pursuit, but we're going to set patrol points now. And we're going to set our patrol points all the way down that track. Get bigger jets so he moves faster. Um, I'm going to probably leak a couple of lives here. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Damn, we just spent our money. We only got one one little and I still need I need two more eco hits. Is he gonna send leads? I need I need two more eco hits. There we go. Razor rotors, my friends. Razor rotors. We're gonna hope that this is good defense. You know, I might just get a little wizard in there as well. It's a little bit cheeky. Or the village. The village isn't really going to help for that initial rush. Okay. If he all outs me, I could be in a lot of trouble right now. We're going to have to watch this. But look at those Razor Rotors. I think he's sending blacks and stuff. Okay, he hasn't rushed. He hasn't sold his farms. It looks like he's just going to farm up. So that's cool. Have you guys noticed that he doesn't have... Juggernauts. Oh, now he does. Let's send a little... Oh man, if only they could regen. That would be really cool. Oh, he's boosted again! Wow. Sorry. Sorry, my friend. Sorry! No! Okay. This is tricky. I sort of want to get a Bloom Jitsu up now. Oh, we haven't got the enhanced VR. That was bad. He could have got us with camo leads. Okay, now we're going to... I think we're going to boost because it's a lot of leads. But you can see we've got the ninja as a bonus, which is quite good. It's it, We are defeating those, which is really, really cool. The Razor Rotors, remember that they, they will shred leads. They will shred camo leads. Um, we're now going to get... Getting a Bloom Jitsu up. See, look at that. It, Everything that's underneath the rotors of the helicopter is getting shredded. Um, and then the Blue Jitsu is cleaning everything up. So that's actually working pretty well. Well done. I'm really happy and I want to thank you, player, whoever you are. The mysterious player who can rematch when he has no medallions. Um, I want to thank you for this game because you've allowed me to demonstrate what I was hoping would work pretty well. And it kind of has. Now if he sends a Moab... I think I should be alright with that Bloom Jitsu. He's now under a village and we've got the Monkey Fort upgrade which is really going to help. Um, but we're going to... We need to start preparing for the possible BFB. We know that he likes to send BFBs. Um, and our best chance of defense for this is... It's Bruno! Bruno's here! Bruno, we're right in the middle of an intense game. 
It's crazy. If he's in the. Ah, Bruno was getting cold at his desk. I want to say hello, Bruno. We're testing out a brand new strategy, Bruno. It's a brand new strategy that involves the village, the heli pilot, and the ninja. And it's working pretty well. Nice, man. This guy, we're actually rematching him, and it's bizarre, Bruno. It's bizarre. He had zero wins, zero losses, and zero medallions. And then he, <laughs> wanted, he wanted a rematch for 2,000 medallions, and it worked. How is this possible? We don't know. So guys and girls, if he sends a BFB, and we saw in the last game before the rematch, he really liked sending BFBs at us. Um, we're going to have to get the sabotage supply lines up, and so we're going to have to sell that wizard. That's the plan. And I really think it's good to... Um, Bruno's still there. It's really good to think ahead about what you're going to do, because in the moment, I, I, in the moment I'm not able to micro fast enough if I haven't kind of planned out what I need to do first. So, peace, man. okay man, good game. luck. I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> Thanks, man. Okay. Oh, no. Come on, man. You can do this. You can do this. Let's get the monkey beacon. It's a cheap upgrade, and it's going to allow my ninjas uh, and my wizard to shoot further, which is pretty cool. We've got some good eco now, which I'm happy about. I think we can defend a BFB because we, uh, we can get the... Um, it depends, he might be saving up for like a Zomai God or something though, that would be crazy if he's doing that. Let's get up to a thousand eco. Oh, ceramics are coming. But hopefully those, look at, look at those Razor Rotors just going over the top of everything, it's actually really, really nice. He's sending. Okay, let's get Sabotage Supply Lines up. And let's see what, what's coming. That's a Zomai God. Okay, in this case, we've slowed it down. Um, I'm just gonna go for. I'm going for the. Um, I'm going for the counter rush. Oh. Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Can those Moabs go out first? Come on, you can do it. You can do it. If you saw my video yesterday, that was definitely him face palming um, himself, I think. Good game. I'm going to say good game. Well done. You said late game though, buddy, and you sent me as, oh my god, I didn't send you anything. I didn't send you anything except eco until you rushed me. Buddy. This has become quite a long video, we've played quite a few games, I'm going to have to go, I'm going to say sorry, but I'm going to say good game, and well done. And the mysterious player, okay. Anyway, guys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that, we tried out a new strategy. I think, I'm a little bit sad that in all the games, even when player said late game, I was still not able to get him to go to the point where I could get an Apache up, because... We've shown that this strategy is probably... Let's go over it. Let's go over it quickly. The Heli Pilot. It's, it's, it can pop. It's got quite good popping power with the quad darts early on. Um, so you can survive through quite a few of the early rounds just with that. Um, then for group wounds like yellows and even blacks and so on, if you upgrade to the Razor Rotors, it's not as effective as like a bomb tower or a mortar at popping group wounds, but it is pretty good. Like you can... I think a good trick, I, I discovered this like a month or so back when I was watching another game actually and I saw, no it was someone I was playing and he, he was using Razor Rotors but he was using it on patrol to cover more of the track like this backwards and forwards motion and it was working really really well. So that's a little tip to remember as well. So we're going to use the Razor Rotors in the strategy to pop the group balloons and we're going to move it backwards and forwards over a section of the track and then you want to position some support towers like ninjas. I'm bringing the ninja in this because you need Moab popping power. You need Moab, Moab popping power um, before you can get the Apache up. If, if you can get the Apache up, it's going to pop all the Moabs for you. Um, but you're going to need quite a lot of money, so that's kind of your late game strategy, your end game strategy, if the game goes that far. Um, the village is going to make everything cheaper, it's going to increase the popping power of all your towers around it, it's going to increase your firing rate, um, and it's going to make all your other towers cheaper. So at a point where you can afford to get the village up, 
and not die. The, from that point on, everything's going to get better for you. So we managed to win some games. It was kind of the ninja was the MVP really uh, in those matches. Although the the ninja could not have dealt with the rushes that he sent, those region leads. We, we could not have dealt with those with just the ninja by itself. I only had I had a a, um, a double shot, just a double shot ninja, a wizard, and the razor rotors, and we were able to defeat a really long stream of regen leads, which is pretty deadly. So that remember that was the razor rotor covering that whole length of track. So I think that's pretty cool. Hopefully I'll be able to play the strategy a little bit more and we'll actually be able to get a game that goes a little bit longer and then we'll be able to get the Apache up and I'll be able to show you guys what I saw in another game that I referred to before, which was that the Apache with the MIB call to arms, even if it's not stacking, you can still use it and then use another one and then use another one every 10 seconds and it makes the Apache ridiculously powerful. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I love you guys so much. We'll see you on the next one. And I must say that I've got some really exciting stuff coming today. I'm going to be recording a game with someone, a legend actually, a legend in the game, and a little bit of an interview with him. Hopefully that's going to go off later on if he gets back to me. So, awesome. See you guys soon. Woo!